self-reliance and dependent. Now, when you look at this list, you're going to go, wait a second, those contradict each other. You are absolutely correct, they do. They're supposed to. A man is supposed to be able to stand on his own and handle his business. Amen? Amen. That's it. But there's a catch. But intimately interdependent on the Holy Spirit, his family, whether that is blood or in battle. Men, we have been taught since the early 1940s to be completely and totally self-reliant and independent from anyone around us, to be completely and totally self-reliant, that we can do it all on our own. It's not what we were created for, though. Genesis chapter 2 talks about that God was looking upon Adam and all the things he was doing and looked and said, you know what? Adam don't need to be alone. Something ain't right. He put Adam to sleep, pulled a rib out. I was curious, did it leave a scar? You know, just those odd conversations. Did Adam have a scar? Did he have a little mark, a little Jesus tattoo or something right here that just kind of like, when he looked at it, went, oh yeah, that's you. Um, little, yeah, little, did it say Eve right there? You know, just, I'm just curious. You know, I'm off the track now. He called him to go to sleep. He created, and then, G, then the word, it says the word presented the woman to Adam. He said, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. See, God created a helpmate. Because he knew, do what? A pillar requires support. Because that helpmate was designed because man wasn't supposed to do it on his own. God knew in the creation of things that everything Adam was called to be and called to do, he could not do it without the support of someone else. And he created Eve. We are self-reliant. It's in our nature. It's part of our upbringing to be able to do it. But we cannot be self-reliant without having the support, stability, and the help of our wives our kids, our church, and our community. It's necessity. We are not independent. We are interdependent. I am nothing without my wife. And above that, I am nothing without the Holy Spirit in my life. 